Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, the Cold War mod. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we've helped the Viet Minh uh, win the war in Indochina. They did pop as French Indochina. It's now just called Vietnamese Indochina. I'm, I'm sure that's not a uh, big problem at all. I think the Viet, Viet Minh were probably supposed to lose the war. So there's not really any events for them to actually peacefully have this area occupied. But that's completely okay. And if there are any wars going on in the world right now, the Greek Civil War is still happening, Indo-Chinese, um, or Indonesian Civil War, and Burma, I mean, you're, you're going to lose, unfortunately, which is a real shame. Okay, so let's put you guys on the British border, because we're much more likely, I think, to go to war with Burma than we are with uh, Vietnam. Soviet reconstruction has ended. So who are you backing? You are giving money to Romania, Hungary, Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, and Germany. You're giving money to... Somebody. Italy, Germany, the UK, France, and Belgium. I mean, no, you know, mostly makes sense. United Nations still in charge of Trieste. We got a little Newfoundland over here. I'm sure they're not going to survive for uh, too long. Yeah, we're not trading any troops. Oh, yeah, 23 million manpower. That's pretty good, but it doesn't really help us out with this whole potential, like, for rebellion thing going on. Yeah, they're pretty upset with us. Uh, which is a real shame. We're getting some more civilian factories soon. I guess that doesn't really do anything for us. Or we'll be able to pass some land reform soon. Weak stability is going to go down until we've activated and finished the uh, progress. But that's okay. Okay. So we will fail if... Less than 10% stability and it doesn't have land reform in 206 days. It'll change the policy to egalitarianism. So I guess automatically, um, yeah, apparently British Burma, they, they won their war, unfortunately. But looking at this, I'm guessing it just defaults to the next level. On the population. I mean, more stability is not bad. And I'm assuming we're still earning more stability than we're losing. Yeah, we're still we're still actually having a, a net increase there, which I think is decent enough. Let's also see some Manchurian industry as well. Now, there's almost 1950, which means we can get some new uh, events soon. I mean, the problem is, like, we just don't have enough... No, we actually have enough food and steel tax to make the equipment, which is nice. We just don't have a lot of factories. We have a lot of support equipment. We have 20,000, but, like, what am I going to do with that if I don't have any guns? I can't, like, ask you, because we need to be at war in order to actually request weapons. Um, and I don't think we can just buy guns from somewhere else. 200 days, 25 develop Beijing. We poke Monopoly. We can claim territory. Do we have claims over all this territory? Yeah, we're also claiming all of Tibet. We can do a border skirmish. We definitely don't, we don't want to attack Burma while they are obviously uh, still a puppet of the British. We'd want to wait at least a little bit longer. But I can't imagine Burma probably has that many troops at their disposal. So if we just kind of keep on doing border, skir border skirmishes, they might attack us and we can maybe invade. I'm not too sure how much that really benefits us. Okay, I'll we'll pair some uh, forces to move into Korea in just in case. So we're still missing 
so many guns. Like, it's, it's ridiculous how many weapons we need to actually maintain everything we have at the moment. We need on 10 days. After that, we have two months left. You're 35 days, but you don't really accomplish anything at all. I guess we just go for this upgrade. Actually, or we can get 1,000 artillery units. But you mean you're gonna take 70 days? Or I mean 70 days for a thousand artillery? We are missing about 787, so actually this is still worthwhile for us. And after this, we can go into uh, the next level of focus tree. See what new things are there. Probably invading Tibet would be one of the options. I would uh, I would imagine. How are you so weak? You have all your manpower. You just have, like, have no guns whatsoever, which is really sad. What are supplies looking like over here? A uh, horrible would be the answer to that question. Like, do you have anything in your army? Your current fighting strength is 0%. That's, that's pretty bad. I, I would say if you have 0% efficiency... It's not looking great for us. Okay, draw some guns over here. What if we were to like disband some of these troops? Because we don't need that many men, to be honest. 13 divisions would be more than enough. And if we need to, we can always just train up units in the future. What are you? You are... Recognized Soviet region. Recognized Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia as being part of the Soviet Union. I don't think it really matters so much because I don't think they're going to give up the territory one way or the other. And probably everybody's going to reject the claim. Yeah, no, it's definitely going to be rejected. Which isn't a, uh, a major surprise for anybody. Our units just suck, though. Like, they're really, really, really bad. It's almost 1950. Which means new events will be unlocked very, very soon. Does NATO exist yet? I mean, the answer is no. I mean, Austria also doesn't exist, but I don't think Austria exists until, like, 1951. I mean, it's mostly understandable what they're doing. How the- how are you still alive? That's my question. How do you have any troops whatsoever? Okay, new focus tree is available. Again, we're gonna wait until we have our, um... We'll wait, like, one week, where we'll have our guns. We'll get a bunch of nice new artillery pieces. And, you know, maybe get some more guns. Like, we... I just I just want some rifles. Is that so much to ask? The answer is apparently yes. Okay. The Dutch have surrendered in Indonesia. You are now independent. We could buy some tanks as well. But honestly, I think we just want to go to the Switch Focus Tree. I don't know if that did anything. Oh, no, there we go. So what do we want to do? Establish a foreign office. The Shanghai Economic Aid Program. Claim territorial leases. Korea policy. The five-year plan. You don't have a political power. Introduce simplified Chinese. We I mean, could conquer Tibet. But you know what? Let's do the Constitution. 100, I mean, 140 days is very long. Sino Soviet Friendship Treaty. No, let's, let's just do the Constitution. We'll probably go for regional autonomy, I think. New support. I mean, we already have, like, so much support. We don't really need this right now. Let the flowers bloom. The hunter flowers movement. 
Indonesia is declared war on other Indonesia. I think we just kind of established like autonomous zones, really. Seems decent enough to me. Are you, um. Yeah, you're, you're hungry still. I mean, this Indonesia seems like they're pretty weak. We will sign an aggression pack with them. Can I send them any, um... Oh, right, I think this is fine. We're gonna lose 100 political power, but that's not a big deal. And attache, impose embargo. I mean, I would like to help you out. Because I'm a lend lease, but you know what? Actually, no, no, lend lease. I have so much um, support equipment that I legitimately don't know what to do with it. So I just have like 500 units worth. Because, like, what, what else am I going to do, right? Basically, nothing. We just see Indonesia is also getting a lot of uh, lend lease as well, which is not a major surprise. Okay, land reform progress will be done soon. NATO has formed. Not a surprise at all. Well, right now, it's actually considered separate from the Western um, Alliance, but I'm sure those will be merged very, very soon. Okay, in three days, we will have a new type of land. And now we can actually get these ones for free as well. Well, not for free, but we have to uh, pay political power for it. Because right now we have egalitarianism. I mean, egalitarianism is probably fine enough. We get a little bit more stability. It's already at 100%, so I mean, getting more stability doesn't necessarily help us. And I think everything else is basically fine. We could open our borders. I mean, we already have, you know, we have so much stability. Why not just open the borders? There we go. Somebody goes down for research speed. I mean, it's more political power gain, but I don't really think we need the political power gain right now, at least. We can take place in a referendum. What's the referendum on? Currently, it's... Okay, let's see if we can make sure they do not become a member of NATO. Let's influence these three uh, countries. Yeah, let's, let's let's see if we can make sure that none of these people actually join. Italy, France... I mean, like, weaken NATO a ton. Seems like it would be uh, beneficial for us, that's to say, say the least. Hopefully, we may get caught, though. I, I don't know if that's a possibility. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, because we're still not recognized. We really can't do much on the world stage. Which is understandable. I see 38 days left on you. So what else, what else can we do? I don't see why we would need emergency laws right now. Yeah, like, why would I need this? Post-war reconstruction. Some oil wells is not bad. And more steel, actually, is also not bad. Establish a foreign office. We could be allowed to appoint a foreign minister. Vietnamese, I mean, we've... I think these two have already lost, and you've already won. So, I mean, this doesn't really matter so much to us, as far as I'm aware. Achieve international recognition. Probably do, like, a charm offensive would make more sense. And see if we can get a seat on the Security Council. It's going to be tricky, uh, to say the least. But I, I think it can maybe be done. Maybe. Do we have another focus tree? No, not anymore. This is going to be the last one, but that's okay. So, you know what? Let's actually get a foreign office right away. We got 255 political power. We could actually think probably just go immediately up to communalism. 
I mean, it's more stability, more political power gain. I mean, it's, it's more... No, it's basically just better. I mean, we're going to lose some more support. But that's okay. Weekly change has to go by plus 25%, so... I think we're mostly fine. How much are we getting? We're getting 1.4 per day. Most of us are parts of the recognized government, which is understandable. That that would be a, uh, a hurdle that we'd have to overcome. Pump an autonomy gain. Okay, so you have eight days left until you're done. Korea has declared war on Korea. So the Korean War is now beginning. Are you no, you're no longer a puppet of the uh, the USSR? Okay, so we will sign non aggression pact with you. You can find military aid. You know, let's see if we can get uh, involved in the Korean War. We can issue an embargo against you. How is embargo? I mean, if we send troops here, how how well will they actually perform? I don't really know. Do I have any airports in uh, Manchuria? The answer is no to that, actually. So what does this actually do? If it looks like Korea is going to lose, then we can join a faction, basically. The Warsaw Pact has been formed. Subject of Korea. Or we can get a nuclear bomb and nuke Korea. Bit of a strange choice, I would say. We probably want to puppet Korea if, we, or if we're given the option to. Oh, you've all joined NATO, huh? Apparently, my influence didn't change things too, too much. We got NATO in the Warsaw Pact. There is a direct border in Austria. Uh, they'll probably make them a neutral country. Try to cool down tensions at least a little bit. Okay, so I think that's... It seems good to me. Would still like recognition, but... I understand right now it might be a little bit difficult. But you know what? Actually, I have the political power. Let's try it. I'm sure Taiwan's going to veto us, right? That's what I would do. So far, we're currently rejected. I mean, if India can't get in, there's no way in hell I'm getting in, right? Like, that seems unlikely to happen. Right now, it's inconclusive. Can I support, like, Bhutan? I cannot influence you to vote my way, unfortunately. Okay, right now we are currently adopted. We got seven votes. Like, you you have to veto us, right? Like, why would you not? Okay, fighting military aid to Korea. You know, let's achieve international recognition now. I mean, right now it looks like it's basically a stalemate. And actually, it looks like we're, we might actually succeed in our uh, objective of being recognized, which is not really what I expected at all. And these are all the unrepresented countries. And we're adopted. Fantastic. Apparently, Taiwan just did not have any say in the matter at all. Which I'm surprised by. Okay, because we are now a recognized member. We're not a member of the Security Council. Well, we are at least a member of the United Nations, which should mean that we are going to get more points. Okay. Uh, so get a hundred political power from you. But do I like? Do I need it? Charm. I mean, we're already recognized, though. Does any of this actually matter so much anymore? Hmm. What do we want? Apparently I've already fought corruption, though. So, I mean, that's good. I didn't even try to, but I've already done it. 
What's widespread corruption actually doing for us? It has a lot of stability being lost. It's actually mostly consumer good factory that we want to uh, remove. Apparently, you're actually completely separate events. Okay. I thought it was like, you have to lead to this, but apparently that's not the case. So you're 20% stability, but I mean, we already have so much stability right now. Like, it's not really necessary. Okay, you're not really voting on anything. Is there anything I can do, like, right now? Probably not. I mean, you're still kind of fighting here. I, I, again, I don't know how they're even alive at this point. We got two days left on you. I mean, anti-corruption campaigns seem like a good idea. So, you know, let's get... 140 days is very expensive, but let's get that going now. But for right now, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching my answer. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, do we close some down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.